Well, Jody and Aaron, they're talking a little bit after their date. Yeah, yeah. Jody tells Aaron that she enjoyed it. Okay. And she can see that he's trying, um, and it's a step above the first date. Okay. Although, internally, she just doesn't want to hurt his feelings. Mm. Aaron is saying that it was a great date. He'd like to do stuff like this in the long run. And he says, a great kiss, by the way. Oh, my gosh. Um, and she tells him it was a much better date. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. So when they get back to the house, yeah, Aaron is talking to the guys or asking them like, oh, how was your day? How things go? Did you guys have fun? Mm -hmm. Aaron said they had a great date. Um, But now that they're back at the house, it's like the date never happened. Yeah. There's like some type of uncomfortable energy now. Mm -hmm. Aaron. um, Well, Aaron is talking to Chris about the date and and kind of explaining more about it. And Mm -hmm. Jody isn't really talking. Chris even asks, like, are y'all tired? Like, what or whatever. And Jody's like, yeah, I'm tired. So she ends up leaving. Yeah. So Aaron says it's hard because every time he thinks he has her figured out, it flips. Chris tells Aaron, you know, even though Chris and Jody are like this Mm -hmm. and they're close friends, Chris says that Aaron treats her well and he deserves to be treated with respect because he's a respectful person. Yeah. Aaron says that he's really confused um, and he notices now. Well, he notices how she's acting. He's telling everybody like, y'all are crazy. I do notice it. Mm -hmm. And I'm just really confused. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on that? I'm just like, finally, Aaron, like at least... Even if you say you've been noticing it, I mean, it's good to verbalize it. And at least we can see you're coming to the light. But I, I don't know why he's so confused. Like, the lady don't like you. So. Well, well, <laughs> well, you you be confused because. I mean, you- it's not like she's being manipulative of being nice and, and then being mean. She's been mean the whole time. But if he was to ask her, do you like me? She would say yes. Okay. So it's like. Well, he need to know people. People lie. Okay. Well, like, <laughs> thank you, Blair. Yeah. Um, I do agree with Chris when he's like, "Look, you don't even deserve this. Like, this is this is sad. Yeah. You know, because you have done nothing to um deserve this type of like you you come back from the date and you don't want to be like this. There's, there's a after date glow that happens. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? When, un, un, well, it's not unfortunately. I'm married, so I can say this, right? When when I take my wife out on a date, right? There's an expectation that of how we supposed to be after the date once we get home, right? Mm-hmm. It's not so much of something that's transactional. It's not even. I, it's you're on a high. You can't even pinpoint to what I want. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Um, it's just more of I don't see us going on a date. And then I go in my corner and she go in her corner. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And she just came into the kitchen and she just got her Papa John slice. <laughs> and then like he picked up her plate mm-hmm. to, to clean it. And I'm like, man, you are doing a lot. And the thing about it is now it's no longer an act of service as love languages is is is, is one of the languages. It's now becoming a um what is the word? Like now you're trying to do it to gain like you're trying to impress now, yeah. right? And and she's not returning anything. And that's where it becomes cruel mm. to where Chris is kind of alluding to. Because it's like you're trying. you could, and, and, like, it's not about you putting the beds together. It's not about you didn't know how to open up the wine with, with the wine opener. It's not about you not knowing how to salsa. It's just this girl really, I think, brought you on this show, really, when she really didn't never felt you, mm. you get what I'm saying? Maybe she was on her little man eater type of uh thing, and she was just felt like I have a relationship on online and things like that. And she met you in person, and she do not want to try to like you. No. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And it's oozing out of her. She can't even fake it. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah.